Hi everybody, Jonathan here and welcome back to another Apple video. It's a busy week and today we've got the new Mac Mini as you can see. Now this is a product which I think is really interesting because it kind of like straddles the uh, need instead of having a large screen like an iMac you can just get whatever screen you like or if you don't want to take a laptop with you and prefer a desktop this is a really great machine. So let's take a look at the new Mac Mini and what it can offer you as a designer. So first of all you can see the unbelievable size of this new Mac Mini. It's absolutely tiny. 5 inches by 5 inches and that is really quite small compared to the previous model. Quite a big reduction. However, don't be fooled. This thing is an absolute powerhouse of processing power. So it's also got some really nice ecological aspects. Um, Apple have made a big point about this being the first carbon neutral Mac, which is really, really great to see as a direction that Apple are moving in. So basically, you can see how compact this looks. Uh, there's the old model. But wait until you see how amazing the new one is. There it is on a rack mounted server. But the new one is absolutely tiny. So I do like the little Apple trick that Apple played. There we go. There's the old one. And wow, boom, there is the new one. Unbelievably small. It's honestly not much bigger than an Apple TV, which I've had for years. And this thing is absolutely minuscule. So, you know, technically you can move this around as a portable. Um, I see no reason why you shouldn't take this to work in a laptop bag and basically take it home every night if you really want it. So instead of having kind of a big screen um, plugged in like an iMac, you just plug in the screen wherever you are. So the amazing thing about the Mac Mini is the size. Look at it in comparison to the previous model and you'll find that it's absolutely tiny, five inches by five inches. However, it's got loads of ports. We've now got five Thunderbolt ports, three of them Thunderbolt 5 and two Thunderbolt on the front as well. The cooling on this thing is pretty insane. It's all powered from the underneath, as you can see. So it's a really nice, neat system. Um, but really having these ports on the front as well as the back, I think is a really, really great bonus for a lot of users. You know, it was always pretty awkward reaching behind your desk to get to the ports. So as I said before, one of the things I really, really like is that Apple are really kind of like promoting the sustainable aspect of their computing. And if you think about the impact that these have worldwide, you know, both in terms of energy usage, but also production and embodied carbon as they produce them, this is a big deal. So we've jumped the M3 for the new Mac Mini. There was no release or no update there. And they've just jumped straight to the M4 chip for fairly obvious reasons in that this was available and it's an absolute powerhouse. You can see that we're, you know, many times faster than the previous generation and it has a 10 core dynamic CPU, but it also has ray tracing cores built in as well. So, you know, 2.2 times faster than the M1. That is pretty significant impact. So basically, this is going to be a really quick machine for designers. And I think this could be a very, very good choice for architects and designers who maybe don't want to cart around a laptop screen. They'd rather have a desktop. And this is, you know, look at the comparison between this and a powerful PC. It's absolutely tiny. So if you really want a nice minimal desk uh, with kind of like loads of ports, real kind of desktop power in a real kind of small device, the Mac Mini could be something that you will consider. Now, along with Apple Intelligence built in, this is going to be pretty groundbreaking, I'm sure. Now, one of the things I really like about the M series products is that the basically the M4 chips come in a couple of different flavors at this point. Now, the really good thing about the M4 Pro is basically we've just got this more powerful kind of like step up in terms of um, underlying performance and the things like the GPU as well. So one of the things I really, really love about my M1 Pro is being pretty bulletproof and the unified memory, even though I've only got 16 gig of RAM, 99% of the time is fine. But basically with this new M4 Pro, it's gonna really kind of like scale up the performance quite dramatically. And with the new sort of power cores that you've got there, the high efficiency cores, you're gonna get this extremely high level of performance. So Apple are claiming this is the world's most fast, uh, powerful CPU. So basically things like web pages and design uh, software is going to run so much faster. So 
Here we go, we've got the M4 Pro with 14 cores and 20 GPU cores, that's pretty insane. So basically the M4 Pro is 75% faster in terms of bandwidth than the M3. So here we can see the M4 Pro performance, 1.9 times faster, and that is a significant upgrade. Two times faster than the nearest PC, according to Apple as well. And the GPU performance, 1.9 times faster. So these are big, big step ups in terms of performance. And you know, if your render can happen twice as fast, or basically you can kind of spin your model around when you're animating an architectural service, um, this is a really powerful aspect. So with the new ray tracing as well, I do expect to see uh, popular software like Cinema 4D. Hopefully things like Enscape and Twinmotion will also embrace that ray tracing at some point as well. We'll have to wait and see on that. But basically the neural engine is also three times faster than the M1 Pro. Now that really is a very significant update. So what I really love about the Mac Mini, one of the best things is it can support up to three displays. So, you know, look at all the different options for the displays and the front ports, all these different design options that you can have. And I think you'll agree, it is a really, really appealing product. So here we go, the new Mac Mini with all these wonderful features. And of course, Apple Intelligence built in to the new Mac Sequoia from the beginning. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments about the new Mac Mini. I'll be very excited to hear your thoughts. So let's take a look at the shop and I'm gonna take you through what I would choose as my ideal Mac Mini if I was in the market. As I've said before, I normally rule out the bottom machine. Now with this particular one, the middle one is actually looking really, really good. And what an amazing price for nearly uh, £799. You know, you're looking at the middle of the range. It's always tempting to go a little bit higher and step up to the upper range. But don't forget, if you click onto the M4 Pro, this is where it really starts to get interesting. So we've got the 12 core here and basically 16 core GPU as standard, 24 gig of RAM, which is pretty good, and a 500 uh, gigabyte basically storage. But if it was me, I probably might be tempted to upgrade to 48 gig, let's see. I would definitely go for a terabyte of storage and you know what? I would probably just go the whole hog and upgrade the processor. And to be honest, if I was going to do that, I may well decide to save a bit of money on the RAM because that is expensive and drop down to 24 gig, which I would find to be, you know, for most use cases enough. Now, this machine is looking really good for $17.99. Um, I would probably not get the Apple monitor. They are beautiful, but just too expensive, I think, for what they offer. And there's other really good alternatives like BenQ. Those are the range that I tend to go for. So let's add this to the bag and review. Um, there's always these nice extra bits, but I would always go for the extended keyboard. And to be honest, I wouldn't go for an Apple one. I would go for an MX keys for Mac on that front too. So save a few quid. And here we can see compared to yesterday's choice, you know, quite a significant difference in performance and a lot, lot cheaper as well. So look at the difference between the iMac basically with our 10 core and 16 core neural engine and GPE compared to my 14 core with a 16 core neural engine and 20 core GPU, 24 gig of RAM, everything else is the same, the storage and the RAM is the same. But basically, you know, we're saving a really decent amount of money, but we're getting huge increase in performance. Okay, the main thing that you're missing here is the all-in-one package and the display. But if you do like external displays, like a bigger display, this is a really, really great choice. So thanks for watching everybody. It's been really fun to make this video. I'm quite excited about the new Apple products and tomorrow I'm predicting the new MacBook Pros. But let me know what you think about the new Mac Mini. I think it's a cool product. And I think for a lot of people, this will really, really suit their needs. Well, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.